Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and you better buckle up for this one. This one's really spicy. So, this is a particular example where I'm trying a pose that I've never done before. So, I I really had to take a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, it, it was just hard. <laughs> I don't know how to find the words, but it was hard. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I had to kind of use all my knowledge of anatomy and shapes and just really hope that it turned out good. Um, I, I did have to get some help from friends too, my art friends who were nice enough to be like, this makes sense. This doesn't make sense. And the feedback I got from the start was actually that the face was wrong. So that the nose was too pointed. It didn't quite make sense. And that was what I learned. And from that point forward, that was pretty much the only feedback I got. So I had to like figure it out from there. Um, sometimes that's all you get. Um, even with people who are very talented. Sometimes at the end of the day, you just, you, you do things correct enough that people only have little bits and pieces to criticize your stuff with. And that's a good feeling, but it's one of those things that like, it, it instills a little bit of panic into you. Like, wait, are, are they not seeing things wrong? There has to be something wrong. I mean, this, this looks a little bit weird to my eye, but, um, for the most part, that's just kind of what comes with uh, being an artist is even when you're really, really uh, gotten to the point where people see you as a professional, you're still constantly questioning yourself like this isn't right. I'm doing everything wrong. Something's wrong here. And that is something I think everyone has to struggle with. And it's just one of those things that never really goes away. Um You'll see that I use the hair to like lead back to the face and I actually have the hair draping off the tail, which is something that I thought was really cute and I'm I'm glad I did that. Um if you hear some jingling, it's because my dog is on my bed right now and she has a uh, oh she likes to move around a lot, so occasionally you'll hear the jingle jangle of a doggy do. So just a heads up. Um in terms of the prep work for the colors, I kinda had to plan it all out. Uh, from the get-go. Um, and if you've followed me for a while, you'll know that's how I like to do things. I can't see things in my head. I have aphantasia. So I have to just go off of my knowledge of how I know anatomy works and lighting and kind of just fill in the blanks by myself. Um, it, it was difficult for this one because the lighting is a bit uh, different than what I'm used to. So I had to kind of figure it out as I went. And I messed up in a few areas, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens, and it's just a matter of uh, correcting it later. And if you don't correct it, you just have to live with the mess you've made. But if you're enjoying this video so far, by the way, if you like, comment, subscribe, helps me out a whole lot, and it'll make me mean the world to me. Also, um, here, starting with this video, I'm going to be reading out my uh, Patreons at the end. So, uh, yeah, um, if you want to be read out in the list, you have um, that option now. If you want to follow me on Patreon, support me. I also have a free members option. Um, it's pretty much just a simple uh, thing of seeing my post when they're released. Like, uh, uh, free members really don't get anything super unique, and um, I'm trying to come up with more ways to incentivize um, regular uh, patrons who pay for it because I feel like what I'm doing right now isn't enough for them. Like, they're not getting their money's worth, and I need to find a way to fix that and really make sure that I'm giving them the value that they need or ask for whenever they choose to support me financially. So that's what I'll be doing from this point forward. It's it's just a start. I'll figure it out. Um, I need to update my Patreon because I don't actually do the... Um, the $30 tier private lessons anymore. And the reason I don't do that was... $30 a month for lessons ended up being way too much work on my end and I couldn't get things done. And I'm in an unfortunate situation right now with my internet where it constantly goes down and I have to like really um, find certain times of the day to upload videos. And all the people who want lessons are during the evenings and evening is usually when my internet goes down. It's an absolute disaster. Um, so I've been rambling this whole time, the the uh, line art's been going on, and that's on purpose because line art takes me a long time, and it's one of those things that it's really hard to commentate over because line art is pretty simple. Um, 
really a good way to explain line art. It's like, there's only so many times I can be like, oh, um, make sure your corners are thickened, add line variations, make sure to use thin lines, and then make them thick manually. You know, all these rules that, um, that I know, but I can't quite explain unless I explain it visually. Good grief, Bella. That's my dog. She's currently making my bed by messing with it. But, um, yeah, so I, I really try to find something to talk about during the line art phase, but man, the line art phase takes so long in my artwork. I'm, it's really hard to do. But, um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm proud of the lines this time. This one is definitely more provocative. Um, I might have to, um, turn the ads off for this particular video. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll see if ads can be played, but if not, that's okay. It's just one of those things. It, it happens. Like when you draw spicier work, sometimes YouTube doesn't like it and that's okay. That's just the way it is. For the most part, I don't make that much money off of YouTube. I've, I've barely hit the $100 um, limit that YouTube has where it's like you can't take money out unless you make $100. And that's okay. It's one of those things that, um, uh, like I said in the last video, I'm fine with being a small uh, YouTuber. I actually like that my comment section is mostly positive. Every now and then you get a negative one in there, but uh, that's just the way the internet is. You're not always going to have people with nice things to say all the time. I've been on the internet since like 1999 and, um, man, the, the internet as of late has gotten particularly like spicy. I swear, uh, forums like Reddit, like, uh, 4chan and Tumblr, like they took old, the old like internet forum culture of the of the early 2000s and late 90s and it eventually evolved into like the whole internet is now just about like getting people mad and proving yourself right like no one wants to have a discussion anymore now it's all about like i'm right you're wrong let me show you all the reasons why you're wrong and let me not listen to your points and just argue with you and it's so exhausting man it's like you you can't be 100% right all the time. Doesn't matter how like smart you're con you've convinced yourself you are. You're going to be wrong eventually. So treating every argument like you're the hero and you you're infallible is so stupid to me. Um and I'll admit it's hard to admit when I'm wrong. I mean, I'm wrong constantly. It's just one of those things that I have to like uh after I make a mistake, I have to be like, "Well, that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that." And I wish more people had that ability. I definitely still have my moments where I definitely come out of an argument where I'm like, no, no, I don't think I was wrong in this case. But um, that's just the way it is. Um, sometimes we die on a hill. But as you can see, I'm planning out the lighting and rendering. Um, I went with the multiply layer in this particular um, artwork. But if you see the final product, you'll, you'll actually notice that I erased the uh, multiply layer. And that was because I thought it added a level of contrast that just didn't work. And that's just kind of the way it is sometimes. Sometimes uh, the added contrast actually hurts the artwork more than it helps it. So sometimes you get winners, sometimes you get losers. Um, I used the multiply layer for the hair here, and I'm getting better at hair, but I feel like this time I really blew it. Uh, it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. So... That's something that uh, every now and then um, I, I make something and I'm not fully satisfied with it. But that's just the way it is sometimes. Sometimes you, you make something and you're just not fully satisfied. But the overall um, piece is still pretty good. So, you know, we'll, we'll just let it slide for now. <laughs> so now we're adding all the um, effects with the multiply layer. And like I said, I removed it. I added an add glow layer here to kind of fix it. Added some post-processing. And we're pretty much approaching the end of the render that I recorded. I did some slight fixes and added a picture background from Unsplash and blurred it just to kind of give like an atmosphere in the background later. And I ended up not um, keeping the white background or the black background. So it's one of those things that things change. And sometimes I, I turn off the recording because uh, for the most part, I know Unsplash is royalty free, but I don't want to get like 
flagged. So usually I don't record me editing a, a photograph because it's just uh, safer that way, in my opinion. So that's the artwork. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. And now to read the Patreons. All right, here we go. I'm terrible with names. Thank you at Cooper White Shield, Rubeb, Prismic, Prismatic, sorry, 420 Zidan, Emilin, Beer, Night Angel, Andy Scaldito, Shane, Roxa, Zaret, Dalton Lily, Fainer T. Gager, <laughs> Tomps Double O, Zip, Matthew C., and Dallas Long. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon, guys.